Hey guys, it is Fortune and welcome back to another Minecraft mod review. Today we are on part 3 of the Tinker's Construct mod and we are going to be looking at the tools and weapons from this mod. So let's get into it. Okay guys, so the first tool we have is the pickaxe and this is made with a pickaxe head, a binding and a tool rod. And this guy basically works like a pickaxe in Minecraft. You can use it to mine stone blocks and things that require a pickaxe. The next thing we have is the shovel and this requires a shovel head, a tool rod and a binding. And this guy again works like a vanilla shovel. It mines blocks like dirt and gravel like a shovel would. The next thing we have is the hatchet and this is made with an axe head, a binding and a tool rod. And this works like an axe from Minecraft. It can mine wood and stuff. The next thing we have is the matok or the matok. I don't know how you say it really, but it's made with an axe head, a shovel head and a tool rod. And this guy can do multiple things. It can mine dirt and stuff a shovel would be able to mine. It can mine wood and things an axe would be able to mine. And it can also work as a hoe. So if you right click grass, it will till the land. The next thing we have is the camera and this is made with a camera head, a binding and a tool rod and this guy basically works as a crop harvester so if you right click it will harvest and replant a crop as well as with sugarcane you can do this it also acts as a shears so you can actually shear sheep with it and now we have the hammer and this guy takes a hammer head two large plates and a tough tool rod and this guy acts as a pickaxe but it does a three by three area as you can see by the highlight here so if i mine this stone it will actually take out all of these blocks good for clearing big areas and now we have the excavator this guy is made with an excavator head a large plate a tough tool rod and a tough binding and this guy acts like a shovel but again it does a three by three area as you can see here again good for clearing out large areas of dirt and stuff and now we have the lumber axe this guy is made with a broad axe head a large plate a tough tool rod and a tough binding and this guy can be used to one cut down whole trees by a swing of it so as you can see the whole tree is gone and we've got all the wood. It can also be used to mine a 3x3 area of wood like so. And now we have the scythe. This guy is made with a scythe head, a tough binding, a tough tool rod and another tough tool rod. This guy has two uses. Firstly it is an offensive weapon but it also doubles up as a AOE camera so it can do a 3x3 area of crops with just one right click. Okay guys and now we're on to the offensive weapons and the first thing we have is the broadsword. This is made with a sword blade, a wide guard and a tool rod. And this has about average damage in the scale of all the weapons in this and it has the also works like a regular vanilla sword so it has this sweeping attack to it next we have the long sword and this is made with a sword blade a handguard and a tool rod and this guy does a little bit more damage than the uh, broadsword but it does take longer to recharge as you can see that recharge bar did take a little bit longer to recharge it also has a lunge effect which you do by holding down right click and letting go and it'll shoot you forward a little bit next up is the rapier and this guy is made with a sword blade a cross guard and a tool rod and this guy does less damage than the last two but it does it very very quickly so as you can see I can spam right click and it will do an attack on every single click I do it also has a 50% armor piercing and also if you press right click you do a little lunge backwards I guess that's what you call it next we have the frying pan or fry pan and this is made with a pan and a tool rod and this guy is a weapon basically it's a heavy weapon it does a lot of knockback damage but it also has a right click attack that you can hold to charge up and then it will do damage to the mob you're facing and it will also cook any food that is dropped by that mob next we have the battle sign and this is made with a sign plate and a tool rod and this guy acts as an offensive weapon it does a little bit of damage but it also acts as a shield if you hold right click and will knock back any projectiles 
And now we have the cleaver, and this is made with a large plate, a large sword blade, and two tough tool rods. And this guy basically is a heavy, big weapon. As you can see, it's very, very big. And this guy uh, is good for beheading mobs. It has beheading too, which means it has a chance of taking the head off a mob, making getting wither skulls easier and stuff. Probably one of the more useful tools in the Tinker's Construct mod. It also does a lot of damage, as you can see, and... Are we going to get ahead? No, we are not. But trust me, it does increase the chance. And now we have the short bow. And this is made with two bow limbs and a bow string. So this guy is basically a bow. You can charge it up and shoot animals with it. And now we have the long bow. And this guy is made with, again, two bow limbs, a bow string. But this time it has a large plate in it. And this guy has a lot more of a drawback time, but it also does a lot more damage than the short bow. As you can see, it is taking a while for me to charge up. But there you go, and he one-shotted that pig. Now, so far with these two bows, I've just been using vanilla arrows, which they can use. But there are also Tinker's Construct arrows you can get. And these guys can be upgraded. You can use different materials to get them. And basically, they can be a lot better than vanilla arrows, can increase the damage of your bow a lot and uh, a lot of things they can determine the accuracy and stuff and uh, if I go ahead and grab this arrow here now as you can see we are now loading up the Tinker's Construct arrow and we can load it up in the short bow and it basically acts as a uh, vanilla arrow and as you can see it does take durability as you use it as you can see it says ammo 8 out of 9 so the different materials you use it can also get you know more ammo within the arrow now we have the cross bow and this is made with a bow limb a tough tool rod a tough binding and a bowstring but this guy can't just shoot regular arrows you have to make a crossbow bolt and to make a crossbow bolt you are going to actually need a smeltery and to make that you're going to need two iron or two of whatever you're going to make the bolt out of and you're going to need an arrow shaft and you're just going to need to pour those two ingots over that arrow shaft until it makes a wood iron bolt core like so. And there you go, we can go ahead and grab this guy. And now this guy can be used to craft a bolt. And the bolt is obviously made with the bolt core as well as the fletching. And these guys can then be loaded into the crossbow like so by holding right click. There you go, it takes a little while and that's loaded in. And then you can just shoot the bolt from your crossbow like so. And the final thing we are going to be showing off today is the shuriken. And this is just made with four knife blades and as you can see this has 11 ammo in it when you shift over it and you can just go ahead and throw these guys like shurikens basically and they're really really cool they do a decent amount of damage and they just look really really cool when they're being thrown don't they so yeah i hope you guys did enjoy this video and i hope i will see you next time in the next part of this tinker's construct mod review if you haven't be sure to check out the last two parts this is part three and i will see you guys next time bye bye